All right, hi everyone, welcome to the zoo. So my name's Jackie, I'm a teacher here at the zoo. What we're gonna be doing today is doing a little bit of playtime with Pearl outside. I know it's a little bit of a chillier spring day, but we're gonna try and have some fun out here, get out in nature and really enjoy the day that we have today. So here I have Pearl, who is a North American porcupine. She's one of the types of animals that we have right here in Western New York. And this is the time of year when porcupines start becoming a little bit more active than they were during the winter. Porcupines will spend most of the winter in dens, either together in groups or by themselves. They will wake up from time to time to find some food to eat, um, but they'll really just be hunkered down and uh, kind of laying low for the winter season. Pearl is one of our ambassador animals here at the zoo. Many of you may have seen Pearl or had her be a part of some of your educational programs here. She visits lots of our different types of school groups from Cub Club and Little Lions up to many of our school classes, including our homeschool classes. Now we know that many of you are cooped up at home and having to spend a little bit more time at home than I'm sure you're used to. So we've got Pearl here as a sort of an outdoor ambassador to teach you guys a little bit about how we can get outside and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the fresh air that can be so helpful in helping us keep a nice and safe and healthy lifestyle. So Pearl, like many of the other animals that we have here, they utilize a lot of different types of things that come from plants. Many of you may have backyards that you can go out to and maybe you've seen and started to notice some of the changes that are going on with many of the types of plants in your own backyard. For porcupines, they really have to be able to pay attention to those changes that are happening. And they'll have to look around and find different types of foods as they are emerging uh, in the springtime. So now that spring is here and the snow is melted and the ice has melted, there are lots of new shoots and new growth that's starting to spring up that porcupines can take advantage of and start eating and munching. So now in early spring, they'll be looking for short growing shoots and other types of plants on the ground that, that they can eat. But porcupines are also really good climbers and they use that strong tail of theirs to be able to stand up to reach for bushes maybe to get some of the leaves from the bushes. They can also climb on trees really, really well and be able to get up to some of those higher branches to find some of the emerging buds or leaves that are starting to grow on our trees. Porcupines are herbivores. Many of you might know what that word means. That means that they are plant eaters and they eat things that come from plants. As you see Pearl, she's got a nice healthy chunk of carrot right there that she's nibbling on. And plants make up the whole part of a porcupine's diet and that's what keeps them nice and healthy. Porcupines are rodents, so that means that they have ever-growing front teeth. Those incisor teeth are constantly growing, and they're really strong. As you guys are getting a nice close-up view of Pearl and her teeth, you might notice that they're a different color than what we're used to. Their teeth are infused with iron so that they are nice and strong. And they all uh, need those nice, good, strong teeth to help them chew through some of the woody stems and the bark on the trees that they would eat throughout a good part of the year. During the winter, they eat a lot of tree bark and some of the inside parts of the trees, so having those strong teeth help them during that time. But during the springtime, when all of these nice fresh shoots are just starting to grow and starting to bloom, they'll start to have a nice, more nutritious snack than just tree bark and uh, other types of sticks and wood from their diet there. Pearl will sometimes use her hands or her front paws to hold on to her food. And if she starts to grab at her piece of carrot that she has there, you might notice that she has really long, strong, sharp claws. Those sharp claws are what help her to be able to climb. 
So by shimmying up a tree using their long claws, they can get up to reach some of those higher uh, leaves and maybe even some of the fruit that they find up in the trees. Now, porcupines might seem like they would be a really imposing type of animal for other creatures to eat, and they don't really have many predators. Because they have those quills covering their body, they stay pretty well protected from most types of animals that would want to try to hunt them. As you notice, though, I can pet Pearl, and I'm totally safe and totally fine. You'll notice she doesn't shoot her quills out at me. Her quills are just my modified hairs. And for the North American porcupine like Pearl, they can have 30,000 quills covering their body. You might be able to see <laughs> their quills right there. She got a little bit startled. And you can see that she can raise up her quills when she gets a little nervous about something nearby. And if something were to come by and smush into those quills, they would pull out a handful of quills uh, afterwards. So she cannot throw her quills or shoot her quills like many people think that porcupines can do. Instead, they come out when some pressure is applied to her quills. Now Pearl's having a really great time out here in our nature playground by our heritage farm at the zoo. She's getting a chance to get out and explore this new surroundings for her. To my knowledge, I don't think Pearl has spent much time playing in the nature playground. So this is a really fun and exciting thing that she's getting a chance to do. Like all of our other animals here at the zoo, Pearl gets to have different types of enrichment every single day. Enrichment can be lots of the different types of unique opportunities that the animals have to show off some of their natural behaviors and to act like their wild counterparts are. So for Pearl, a porcupine, she would spend a lot of time on the forest floor at this time of year looking for some of those fresh new shoots, or she may want to climb up into a tree to find some of those nice young tree buds. So wherever Pearl is feeling like she wants to go this morning, we're going to let her just cruise around and see what she wants to do. It looks like she may have found something interesting to sniff, perhaps? Porcupines have a pretty good sense of smell. You might see as she's twitching her nose and moving her nose around. Um, the nickname for um, porcupines is quill pig, which is kind of funny because of that big nose that they have for sniffing things out and because of those quills that they have covering their bodies. We're going to see if Pearl wants to try to have one of her favorite treats in the form of a peanut. I have a pocket full of treats for Pearl, so it's just a matter of finding the right one. So we'll see if we can get Pearl to come on up so we can see a little bit more of your quills. Oh, she's really invested in whatever she's sniffing right there. That's really interesting. I wonder what she could be smelling. There are lots of other animals who uh, visit the zoo, whether it's squirrels or rabbits or maybe some birds that happen to be here in our park-like setting. So she might be smelling some evidence from one of those other animals that may be nearby. <laughs> she's showing me that she's really paying attention to what she's sniffing and she doesn't want me to interrupt her, <laughs> which is fine. I'll let you be, Pearl. You can do what you're doing right now. So porcupines like Pearl have to be able to do the right thing in the right kind of season. Because they live right here in western New York, they have to have the right adaptations to survive through all four of our seasons. Right now, you may be thinking that Pearl looks extra super fluffy, and you can really only see her quills when she starts to raise them up. She has her really warm, thick winter coat on right now that helps to keep her warm throughout the long winter that we have. As the spring and summer keeps going, she will start to shed out some of that fur that she has. So she might look a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner as the spring and summer goes on. So right now she's extra super fluffy, but come spring or summer, she looks like she loses a lot of weight, but really that's just all her really warm fluffy fur uh, that she starts to shed as the seasons go on. And then come fall and winter, 
she will want to regrow all of that nice thick fluffy fur so that she's able to stay warm uh, all through the winter too. So we're gonna see if Pearl wants to maybe try a little bit of climbing. Can we get you to move up just a little bit here, dear? Here, can you come and move over for your peanut for me? Hi, sweetness. <laughs> she's really curious about what types of things she's sniffing and experiencing here on the ground. I wonder if many of you can experience something new in your own yards. Maybe there's something new that you haven't noticed before. Maybe some animal sightings that you may not have seen before. You might be able to find animal footprints or maybe some of the things that animals leave behind. Pearl here is really good at using all of her senses as she explores the world around her. Whether she's using her sense of smell to smell for different types of things that are nearby. She's also listening to the sound of my voice and to the birds that are nearby. She's using her sense of sight to keep an eye on where I am and if any other types of things are coming around her. And all of these senses combined are what would help a porcupine to survive out in the wild. Pearl doesn't have to worry about other types of predators or other animals uh, having to uh, get away from them or anything like that, but she's still very observant and uses all of those observations to be able to get around and do the things that she needs to do. All right, so Pearl is just going to hang tight here on this stump for a little while. I hope you guys had fun learning all about Pearl. We're also going to get a chance to learn about some of the things that we can do outside in our backyards and see if we can find evidence of animals or seeing some of the changes that are happening now that spring is almost officially here. You guys might notice some of the things in your backyard are starting to change and look a little bit different. So we're going to see if you guys can use some of your senses and your observations to see what's going on in your backyards. Thank you guys. I hope you had fun meeting Pearl.